How's it going, everybody? My name's Kazan. Welcome back to another video. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom geometry dash um, icon and a ship. You could do it with other ones, although, you know, Robot and Spider have, like, two different limbs, so I don't really know how to do that much. But, um, I've just updated my own very, uh, my very own texture pack. Um, a little bit, I, uh, kind of messed around with the ship, and I made my own icon that is nothing GD-related. So, to start off, you could do this in Paint 3D or in Photoshop. Literally, all I'm using is just, um, resizing and drawing and that stuff so you know paint 3d is pretty photoshop is not free so you know whichever one works for you the only problem with uh paint 3d is making straight lines is a bit harder but other than that it is pretty much the exact same so i'm gonna doing this in photoshop but you guys again can use paint 3d so um what you're gonna first open up is find um you know the image that you want to do so i'm doing something not gd related at all so I have my two images right here. I'm going to make, use the Mario bullet right here as my ship. And that is not what I'm going to do. <laughs> and right here, I'm going to um, cut around Thanos' face and make that an, uh, an, an icon. So first off, I'm going to go into, that is the wrong application. <laughs> go into Photoshop here. And uh, I'm just going to do standard things pretty much. Uh, make sure that when you do it, though, you do have... Um, have like a, a, a square shaped, um, a square shape though, obviously, um, what's going on, okay, there we go, so, um, in Photoshop, what we're gonna want is a 512 by 512, so just create that, doesn't really have to be transparent background or anything, because we're gonna fill the whole thing, so, I'm going to grab my Thanos face, bam, so now it's in here, now I want to, um, cut out around his face, so I'm just gonna do that, however you want to do that is up to you, um, just like this, and then, bam, so, wait, no, 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 let me fix that, there we go, um, and then, if I have to rasterize it, bam, so now we have Jess's face, I'm going to erase, although it never lets me for some reason, <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, erase this, uh, this background right here, just to make sure it's erased, what I like to do I like to just add a uh, a drop shadow or something like that, you know, just so I know. So I'll just do something like this, and then I can see, you know, I can I can clearly tell that there is a uh, stuff somewhere up there. There we go. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the face. Now we want just a square. So grab this, hold shift, and uh, go over him just like in a square i'm gonna get just his face area so i'm actually gonna have to redo that just like that i think i want that part actually you know what? I'll, I'll increase it just a little bit more how about that that is uh slightly too big but i'll work around it so now what we're gonna do here is uh Control c copy that delete the layer um delete the the whole layer and then just paste that so now we have the square bit. Now what we're gonna do is, since I, I didn't do it a very good job, I'm just gonna do a little um, a little of that. Move it a little bit. Control C again. Delete it and then paste in. So now we have a square Thanos. That is what we want. So now I'm gonna resize this to uh to fit the screen. It should fit perfectly because it is a square. There we go. It's going to be a little bit blurry, but once you, you don't really be able to notice it in game too much. So uh, there we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and export this just like that. Bam, that's the icon done. Obviously, we're going to have to add it into the into our files, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. So Thanos GD icon. Bam. Okay. So now let's move on to the ship. Ship right here is going to be a little bit different. So what you're going to have to do is uh, delete this background. Make sure that um, e there is nothing around it. It has to be pretty much completely transparent. Otherwise, this won't really work very well. So, um, make sure everything is there. Oh, I have to rasterize it. Yeah, make sure there, like I said, there's should not be, um, you know, any, uh, any, um, 
anything there. So delete all that. Now we just have uh, this basic thing. So then we're going to go ahead and uh, quick export. Actually, no, we're not going to quick export this one because we actually have to make sure that the background is transparent. So um, there we go. That's what we want. Make sure that it has like the dotted line. So um, once it's like that, click export. Make sure they're all in PNG as well, um, because you know it, it's it's PNG is just you don't have to convert anything. So there we go. Now we have all three of the things. So we can uh, go ahead and delete these, just like so. Now we have the, uh, the Thanos GD icon and the Mario bullet ship. Now the ship is going to be a little bit different to do, but it's going to be still easier. So what we're going to have to do is now open up steam if uh, if i can type properly go into geometry dash uh click the gear properties local files browse go into resources and just look up game and it should be the first one right here gj gate underscore game sheet o2 slash uhd it should look something like this it might look slightly different um it depends it might look more like this one right here if it's this one as well either one works so just uh take take this one and you're gonna have to find i already made one right here actually i'll go ahead and zoom in this is what it's going to look like where is it it is right over here as you can see i have just you know a square little cat you can color it you can leave it black and white you can do whatever you want so you're gonna have to find a right here actually perfect right next to it so Go and edit with Paint 3D or whatever you edit with. I'm using Paint 3D because I don't think it allows you to do Photoshop on this. So just select an icon that you have unlocked and make sure that there is a border around it. I'm going to do this Lenny one actually because I'm not sure if I have that one unlocked. So um, what we're going to have to do is import um, uh, the thing now. So import Thanos and then come on. <laughs> Yeah, so Paint 3D, I find, is a little annoying to work with. Like, things just don't save or, you know, but it is what it is. So make sure you hold Shift when you resize so it, you know, um, doesn't get weird and stretcherous and stuff. So resize it, put it where you can still see that black outline border. And since this is square, it should fit perfectly. So there we go. Bam! That is the icon done. You can get rid of the borderline if you want, but you don't have to. So there we go. There's the Thanos. Um, you obviously can change the saturation and stuff in whatever thing you're using to make it black and white, and then you can color it how you like. Um, now we're going to move on to the ship, which is, I'm just making, make sure the saves. Okay, good. It usually doesn't save for me. So, now we're going to move on to the ship. This is where it's going to get a little more complicated, because you have to find a ship um, with a pretty open space. So I'm going to find, also, if the, I recommend don't doing this if you like glow, um, because I don't use glow, so I don't mind. You're going to have to do a bunch of steps if you want glow. So I'm going to pick a ship that I know I have unlocked, and I'm never going to use. I'll do this one right here, because it's kind of bulky. So what you're going to have to do is, actually, no, I don't want to do that one. That's a little bit too big. You also want like a, a pretty small one as well but you don't you obviously don't want to use one that you you you'll use a lot how about the dorami ship yeah that that's like a good size for this so now go back and grab your ship that you're using it should have a transparent background um oh i forgot to to rotate it shoot i'm gonna have to do that okay give me a second <laughs> Okay, I uh, I just uh, flipped it, so now it should be facing the right way. So now, res make sure you hold shift and resize it. I'm putting it right on top. So, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either stretch res it, or again, I might need a different ship because this is kind of a, a, weird, a weird size here. Um, <laughs> you kind of have to find one, at least the one that I'm, the, the thing that I'm using is kind of trying to find one that is you know I might, I might use Ooh, what about this one right here yeah that's a good size i think just like that make sure it's the mid centered as well that's kind of important okay there we go that should that should do it right there make sure click save 
And if it doesn't work, you only mess up one thing. So you can also make sure you back up your stuff before you do that. That is another important step. I don't really care because if I mess it up, it's n nothing bad's going to happen. It's just going to look kind of weird. So, bam, here's the ship. And I have to find the Lenny with the Thanos. I don't remember where Lenny is. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Did I, did I unlock him? No, I didn't. <laughs> there we go, though. Um, Right there. There we go. Here's the ship. It should be... The the bottom or top might get a little bit cut off, but I, I think it's it's mostly probably fine. So um, let's go into something that has a ship. Here we go. Um, and as you can see, bam. Um, especially with the, you know, the ship I'm using. You're not really going to see the icon too much. Obviously, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, you know, I might go in and uh, fix it a little bit later as well. And you can make waves and, and balls as well because, you know, those... Okay, this is really loud. Because, you know, um, those don't have, like, two segments. But spiders and... Uh, and... and uh, spiders and... Uh, what are they called? I don't know why I'm still playing. Spiders... <laughs> And robots are the difficult ones. You're gonna have to make legs because they move, and the the main part. So it's gonna be a little bit complicated, but it should work nonetheless. So, um, mine got cut off a little bit at the bottom. I don't really mind. I probably won't really use it too much, but it's nice to have it there. But as you can see, the Thanos. Obviously, you have to have it as white as the main color because, you know, if you have something else, it, it gets. It's a little. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> Um, same with, same with the ship, though. This is my, uh, I have an updated texture pack. I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll leave a download link once, um, you know, maybe, not, not, not today, okay? When we, when we hit another milestone, I will, uh, I'll put a download link. Um, but yeah, I've altered my texture pack a little bit, so, um, yeah, uh, if, if you don't want to have to have, um, white as your primary color, there's two things you can do. The first one is just you know stick with it with a different color and just you know have it be fine the second thing you can do is <clears throat> is um you can actually go and change the saturation to uh to zero and then you know you it's just white and black and then you know you can mess around with those colors um this is my other icon that i made right over here um it's just a cat <laughs> so I'm, I'm using that now might switch to this Thanos, dude. It's looking fresh. Um, that ball I, I like as well. I actually really like these. Um, I didn't really experiment too much with these. But um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It definitely was pretty easy to make. I literally did not look up any of this. I figured it out on my own. It's super easy. You could literally use paint, paint.3D or paint3D or whatever. And it's free. And I'm pretty sure you can even use... Some of the, the Mac apps that come with the, the Macs as well. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.